Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a critically celebrated lyricist whose career journey has taken him from Rick Ross Maybach Music Group to an independent artist in control of his own destiny. And his evolution is on display in his new project, Reflection of Self, The Head Trip. Check it out. Found God in us, liberated from all the nonsense, strong-minded, won't never see that the brain flinch I hang with. Moors and Israelites that keep me sharp as skin suit knife, it's all relative. All right, now please welcome Stally. Yay! <laughs> yay, yay! Okay. <laughs> Hello, hello. How are you, sir? I'm welcome good. to the How circle. You? Thank you for having me. Well, welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Ain't have a seat on that purple pillow yes. right there. All right, now. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Circle. Okay, so we're going to delve into your personal business. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you have this big old tattoo on your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So why did you do it and what does it mean? Um, why did I do mm. it? It's, um, wow. yeah. Pharaoh. It's like yeah. a hairstyle. Right. <laughs> your hair's yeah. always done. Right, my hair is always done, but um, it is something that I always wanted to do, like just growing up as a, I don't know, like I was always into art, always into tattoos. Um, I guess I'm into pain too, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's something that I always wanted to do, and um, I chickened out so many times for mm -hmm. years and years. I would I would go to the tattoo, and I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Then I wouldn't. I would lay down. I wouldn't get it, and then finally I just manned up, and I was like, let me do it, and I got. Um, uh, I got Isis, Osiris, and mm -hmm. Horus on my head, okay. and then I got a scarab on the back. So I just wanted to put like kind of like a crown, like some mm -hmm. uh, on my head. You know okay. what I mean? Just show the uh, the the evolution of myself and mm -hmm. just um, kind of crown myself king. I know oh, that's man. right. You know, because yeah. if, if you don't crown yourself king, ain't nobody else. Gonna exactly. Nobody. And then you got addicted, and then you just went and got your hands done, and then you got yeah, your fingers yeah, done, and then yeah. every, you yeah. just got sleeves and everything. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> a t tattoos are addictive. It is. They're beautiful. They they're I are. love. They're like yeah, fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of a tattoo. Right. A record label can be just that. Yes. Okay. I I have been on major record labels, mm -hmm. and I've gone independent after mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Um, you were on a major record label. Now you are independent. Mm -hmm. Which one do you like best, and why did you move from major to independent? Well, I feel like I've always had an independent spirit, mm -hmm. like just from the beginning, and that's what was uh, what allowed me to become mm -hmm. a signed artist. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess there was pros and cons, or there's pros and cons to both. Mm -hmm. But I do like being an independent artist better because, again, like I said, my spirit is more of an independent. I like to go with the flow. I like for things to be organic. I like for things to to, to go off of vibrations and yeah. feelings. And um, I want to be able to create what I want to create. Uh -huh. And independence means an independent pen. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. You get to be able to say what you want to say, do what you want to um, do. And most importantly, I get to tell my story. Yes. I can't tell someone else's story. Mm -hmm. You know. So, um, just Not being, being curtailed and fixed and paced to be definitely, marketable definitely. for right. the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just need to tell my story. Now, if you're a label or a, a brand and you want to mm -hmm. link arms with me and and uh, push forward mm -hmm. my vision mm -hmm. and help me do that, then I'm all with it. Wow. But if not, then I need to be able to do and say what I want to say mm -hmm. and make the music I want to make and be able to travel and create and do the things that I want to do. And make your own yes. opportunities. Yeah, exactly. Well, mm -hmm. But I, I decided of recruitment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do, you ever, <laughs> do you ever miss being part of a major label with the support that they give? Yes. Um, I guess I would say the support. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, the know. support. Yeah, yeah, the support is different, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, and and it is um, helpful. Yes. I will say that you know, um, but I, me personally, I still like the reward yes. that I get when I do it independent. I like the reward that I get from the fans. I like. Um, you know, the reward I get when I invest in myself yes. and I see it come back the to growth, me. The yeah. growth, what you learn. Yes, yes. Yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, speaking of your project, Reflection, talk, yeah. tell us about your new project and why you named it this. I, well, you've been talking about, <laughs> you've been reflecting. So, <laughs> right, 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 right. so tell us about your project. Yeah, so reflection of self, the head mm -hmm. trip. The reflection part just comes from reflecting on everything we spoke about, just yeah. being a signed artist to being an independent artist, the things that I've seen. But it's the most 
current that I've been in my music. Mm -hmm. It's the most uh, present that I've been mm. in my music. So Even how, though, how so? What, what were you bef before? How were you not present? Because I think that I, I've always reflected or I've always told my story, but in the past. Oh. You know, I was always telling people what, so this is I what did to doing make it right now. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm doing right now. What is present with Stally, yes. how I'm feeling. Um, you know, I'm, I'm Muslim. So uh, I just a couple okay, months ago. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> but but okay, a thanks. couple. Yeah. But a couple months ago um, was Ramadan. Mm -hmm. So during that time of Ramadan, I really got to reflect yeah. and just yeah. really sit and yeah. just. Um, sit with myself and just kind of figure out what it is that I want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, what is it you is that... you write a lot during Ramadan? Yes, yeah, okay. you know, and I just kind of like talk and pray and read yes, and just mm -hmm. do a lot of the mm -hmm. uh, reflecting. And um, yeah, so when I started to make music, I made, I was like, I want to change the world, you know, like yeah. I want to help people, I want to inspire, I want to um, just do things in a positive way. Yes. But And I saw myself getting away from that uh -huh. in my music mm -hmm. and in the things that I was doing, um, just caring about materialistic yeah. things right, or right. whatever. So I'm like, this is not me, this is not what I want. So that's where the reflection part came mm -hmm. on. I was like, let me reflect on these things, let me talk on these things and let me tell my fans and the people who are listening to me mm -hmm. about what I've been dealing with. And the head trip part comes from just me taking you through a trip through mm -hmm. my head. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fans, you, you have your own name, you have your own style. Yes. But you've been compared to the likes of J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar, and uh, which, which is a great thing. Humbling, but yes. I have to know, <laughs> who are your top five favorite rappers? Rappers, rap rappers. Um, man, that's it's so tough to, uh, it's tough. yeah, it's tough. But to I'll say, um, off the top of my head, I'll say Nas. Um, Scarface, mm -hmm. uh, Ghostface. Yeah, people sleep. Yeah, people sleep. People sleep on Ghostface. Yeah. Um, most Deaf. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, he's talented in so many I different arenas. Most yeah, yeah, I love most him deaf. Just all the way around. Um, Andre 3000. Mm -hmm. I like. Um, who's S4? And then the fifth one, I would say um, Jay Z. Sally. Okay. Yeah, Stally. Oh, of course. That? I didn't want to say it. Yeah, yeah. Because if I was at five, right. Stally, 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 Stally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah Nipsey Hussle. It's too, it's too many names. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Definitely. But, you know, you're one of our top five. Highlight that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming here and seeing us today. And to follow him on Instagram and for his tour dates, be sure to check out Reflection of Self, The Head Trip, available on all streaming platforms.